Hey hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. So last time we made Donald Trump the game, which did pretty good I think. Actually I can't remember. Let's go to game history. Uh I got a 7.25. That's not too bad. It made me half a million dollars. Um not as not too bad. I mean I've had better games, but I've had worse games too, so you know, not too bad, not too bad. Um I did buy a small booth at G3, um, just quickly before the recording started, it randomly popped up as soon as I started the game, so I couldn't do anything about it. Um, so, looks like we got quite a few people? 50,000, that's a lot, right? Is that a lot? That seems like a lot of people. Visit our booth this year. Like, that seems like an insane amount of people, does it not? 50,000 people? I guess not, I don't know. Um, okay, uh, we didn't make it to the top 100 booths, so... That's a thing. That kind of sucks. Um, so I think also last time we made an engine, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because this is number two, so we must have made number one. Um, so yeah, this time we're gonna make more games, and I don't know if I want to. I kind of want to hire a second person, but I'm not entirely sure on that because it costs me more money. Oh, Vina Gear is no Vina Gear is no longer supported. I don't think I even bought the Vina Gear. <clears throat> oh yeah, so there's this. I can hire another person to help me. I don't know if I want to do that though, because um, I want to see staff list. So I get zero per month, but this guy gets 23k per month, and I'm sure if I hire another person, that'd be another 23k. So that would be like 40, about 50k per month added with another however much my monthly pay is for this office. And I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. But for now, before we do anything, we're going to send this guy on vacation really quick. And then I feel like we should research something. Like maybe a new topic. Eh... We could make like a spore type game. That could be interesting. We could do a surgery game. Let's make a surgeon sim. Let's make a surgeon sim. I feel like that would be a good thing to do. I don't know. I kind of don't know whether I should make... I don't know whether I should make these like more popular games now or wait until like later in when I've had like more experience and stuff so that I can make them better and get more money. You know, because I don't want to make a game and then end up making, ha having more ability to make the game better than it could have been. But I guess that's how it goes. Okay, so it's going to be called, we don't want to call it Surgeon Simulator because, or maybe we do. Maybe we want to call it Surgeon Simulator, Simulator, oop. Oh, caps lock, great. Surgeon Simulator. I don't know what year it is, but I'm going to assume it's like 1995. I'm going to assume it's 1995. I have really no clue. Or maybe it's 1998. No. I'm going to say 1995. It's good enough. And it's going to be on the Gamelink or the PC? Gamelink. Should it be a youth game? No, it'll be for everyone. Um, simulation is plus plus. Maybe I want it for youth as well, because that's plus plus plus. But I don't know about everyone or mature yet, so I guess that would be a good thing to find out. And we'll do my game engine. It only costs 60k. Okay, we'll do it. Hopefully, <laughs> people like it, and it's not like a thing that I should have waited to make. Oh, I spelled surgeon wrong. God dang it. <laughs> Well, that sucks. Okay, we don't want a linear story or simple cutscenes. We want to save game. Game tutorials, yeah, and better user experience, yeah. Okay, so stories and quests can go down. Engine can go pretty high, and gameplay we want really high as well. But story, Stories and quests, like, about there. Yeah. Okay, I really regret spelling surgeon wrong now. <laughs> Dang it! Surgeon. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. It is. Bear dialogue? No, screw it. Um, dialogue could go be up there. Level design could be about there. Artificial intelligence, I assume that's plus plus plus. 
I'm sure that means high, lots and lots of artificial intelligence. Well, that makes sense for a surgery game, right? Because you got got the the hands, you got to figure out what's going on, and like the character has to know what's going on. Um, that's being operated on. Um, the sound can go up pretty high, I'd say. About the same as graphics. And world design can go a little bit lower. And we don't want to open world. Yeah, okay, that should be good. Not very much hype. Not very much hype, but that's okay. It might be... <laughs> the title might be misleading because it's like... Or, if it's not 1995 and it's actually like way... Like, maybe it's like the 1980s, then it could be a futuristic surgeon game <laughs> where there's like you operate on futuristic people and you use like laser beams to like cut people open. That could work. That could be that could be the thing if the, the time setting isn't correct. Wow, a bunch of level ups too. Sweet. Okay, sweet. Release it. And we now we have research available. We have character progression. Better AI in day and night cycle. Ooh, better AI might be pretty good. Um, while we do the game stuff, I think we're gonna get, I'm gonna train this guy, and I think we'll train this guy too, or my guy. Actually, I have 300 and everything, so that's pretty good. Um, maybe I'll research don't repeat yourself, because I haven't done that yet. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I have 300 everything, I didn't realize that, so that's pretty good. Okay, the reviews for Sir Geoin Simulator <laughs> 1995. Okay, a 7 and 9, that's pretty good. Surgery and simulation is a great combination, that's what I thought. Beautiful, nice experience, okay. Okay, a 10? No, a 9. Okay, a 7, 9, 7, 9. That's kind of weird, but okay. A weird kind of range, but that's okay. I'm alright with this. Um, we are getting a lot of units sold, actually. Oh, wow. Okay, that's pretty good. The first day, or the first time we made 250k in sales, that's really, really good, actually, compared to... Um, say our Trump simulator or something, or not Trump simulator, Trump the game, Donald Trump the game, that's what I meant. Okay, this guy's almost done training, okay, um, and now, I think we'll find contract work if there's anything, uh, we could probably do this, we'll do this, just for a little extra money, you know, to pay for um, his salary and pay for my monthly bills and stuff, okay, and we got a, a bunch of fans too, I think, from that. Okay, I think we can do the rest of this contract work. Can we do this? Eh, I don't think we can do that one. But we can do this one, definitely. Okay, almost 100 units sold. I don't know, 100k units sold. I don't know if we've gotten that far before. Oh, we didn't make it. Dang. Over almost 700,000 in sales. That's really good, actually. That is really good. Would hire again. All right, 20k to my account, sweet. I think it said 55k for monthly. But that might have been something else. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just keep making new games, man. Unless, wait, let me see if I can research something. Actually, we'll get this guy to generate a game report for this, just to see what, what's up. And we'll get him to research um, maybe better AI? We don't really have that many research points. So we kind of have to make more games to get more research points. But... I feel like getting more topics. No, I think we have enough topics for now. Um, we could research sequels. I think that might be a good thing to research, just in case. Because, like, say, um, some really good games that we've made, we can make sequels to them. Just in case we're running low on the cash and we need um, some more money. Then we can do that. And um, it could work pretty well. Okay, so our analysis for Sergio and Simulator is surgery and simulation is a great combination. Graphics seem to be very important. Okay, well, I didn't know that. You think... I don't know what, what that would be. Okay, so that's good. And platform audience match. Gameling slash everyone is good. Okay. It's not as good as youth. But that makes sense. Um, but it's still pretty good. Um, what was I going to see? I was going to look at my game history. I'm wondering what I should make a sequel to. So I'm trying to figure out what my best best game is. Super Alien Bros might be my best game. Oh no, your best friend that's not real. That's my f best game. Yeah, 9.25. So yeah, I could definitely... I've made a lot of games, actually. I didn't realize I made so many games. Yeah, I think your best friend that's not real 
I completely forgot about that game. 9.5, that's the best one, and it made me 2.6 mil? Or no, 2.7. Jeez. Or no, 2.6, yeah. Dang. That's crazy. How did it make so much money? I guess that's where I got all that money. I remember that. Okay. And my second best is your fave dog named Dave. Huh. I hadn't realized that. And then Surgeon Simulator is pretty up there too. Okay, sweet. Um, I guess... Maybe we should make a sequel to uh, Your Best Friend That's Not Real. Because that sounds like a good thing around this time. I don't know how many years it's been. I guess maybe four years? Okay, uh, Nevento announced that their next generation console called Tez64 today. Or they announced it. Um, expecting into the coming months of this world's first gaming console to port 64-bit processors for graphics and audio. Oh boy. And Nevento said this will allow never-before-seen 3D realism. Sweet. Um, has lost... Super Tez has lost a lot of market to more modern consoles. Market experts said that the hardware of the Tez 64 is surely impressive, but expressed their surprise that it will use ROM cartridges instead of much cheaper and higher capacity CD-ROM format. <laughs> Alright, nevertheless, the Tez seems like an impressive console, and Invento has said that it plans to aggressively price it against Phony's Play System. Alright. It's kind of cool, you know, the research that must have went in this game, like, about what happened around that time, you know? Like, this is all, it's all based off of real stuff that happened, so that's pretty cool. Um, action games are especially popular at the moment. Okay. Um, was Your Best Friend Not Real? That's Not Real? A... What kind of genre was it? Virtual Pet Simulation. Okay, it wasn't action. Um, what action game? Super Alien Bros? We could make a sequel to Super Alien Bros, since it's action, and action is popular right now. That might be a thing we want to do. Alright, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, okay, so we can develop a sequel. I think we will do that for... We will do that for your best friend that's not real. Since it, since it got almost a 10. Like, that's crazy. People definitely want to buy it more. Because how many fans do we get from that? 3,000. Like, that's like a third of our fans. Like, that's insane. And its top sales rank is 8. I don't know what that's out of. If that's out of everything, just in general, it must be, yeah. Dang. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll make a, we'll make it for this. What the heck? Your best friend that's not real. <laughs> what is that there? Sequel to your best friend that's not real. <laughs> we'll call this one your, your best friend. That, that, that not real. Oh, I, I didn't realize it says your best friend that not real. I should really check these typos, man. Your best friend that is real. And I did that capitalization on purpose. Actually, no, wait. It won't have capitalization. I'll make it proper. There we go. That is real. This is the sequel. <laughs> Except it's real. I don't know what that necessarily means. And we'll make it for the gameling, because it's like super good for the gameling. I'm I'm sure I'm guessing that's why it, it was so good, because young is really good and simulation. So that's probably why it did so well. Um when I first made it. And we'll have 2D graphics v2. I'm not sure what the the specs were for it originally. Okay. And I have to make sure I do these right too. We're gonna have simple cutscenes. But no game tutorials, I don't think. Yeah. We don't need game tutorials. Um, so we want the stories and quests pretty low, apparently, if that's what that minus means. I assume that's what that means. So we'll put it like there. Engine and gameplay will be about the same. Actually, gameplay will be a little bit higher. About like that. And sound will go a little bit lower. I'm going to hope that's right. I'm going to hope that's right. I'm sure I could look back into the, in, into the other video where I, I made the first game. That would have been nice. We don't need better dialogue, I don't think. AI, really high. Level design can be pretty low. Dialogue can be pretty low. Uh, okay, I think that's about good. Yeah, okay. Hopefully, hopefully it's not like a huge, a huge flop. Okay, we just want a small booth. A medium booth is 500k. Like, that's a lot, man. And a larger booth is 1.5. Jeez. I don't even have that much money. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I guess it makes you buy a booth, because you can't not buy a booth, I don't think. I don't think there's an option for that. Um, okay, we want sound high. Graphics high. Apparently. Maybe sound even... Graphics even higher than sound. And world design low. Like there. Yeah. 
I'm gonna say that's good. I don't want this to be a flop really badly. I want this because sometimes there's a higher chance in sequels, I'm pretty sure, of it being a flop. Because um, usually that's what happens in real life. When sequels come out, they're usually worse than the original game. Okay, so Tez 64 has been released. So maybe we'll go. Um, maybe our next game will be Tez 64. We'll have to buy a license for it, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, are we gonna get more people this year? We got 6,000 more people than before. Dang, that wasn't very good. Once we gain more fans, I'm sure we will. Okay. Well, fair enough. We got pretty good hype. 41 hype. That sounds like pretty good. And we got a new record for uh, technology too. And quite a few level ups. Alright. Let's release the game. <laughs> I'm actually kind of nervous about this. Ooh, we unlocked multiplayer. Okay. Um, we'll just research... Oh no, we can't research anything. I was going to say research the game, but we can't do that yet. Because the uh, reviews haven't came in. Okay, your best friend that is real came in. The reviews. Oh boy, those look high. A 10? A 9. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. A 10? <gasps> is it going to be even higher than the other one? Is it going to be like 9.75? Oh my god, it is. If it's, if this is a 10, it's going to be 9.75. I think. A 9. Okay. That's That's pretty dang good, man. Can I make a sequel to a sequel? Oh my god. Holy crap. That is a lot of money. The newest game in their series title, Your Best Friend That Is Real, was met with outstanding responses. Critics praised that Your Best Friend That Is Real had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're gonna hit like 500k sales, I think. Holy crap, look at those numbers flying. Rank number one. Oh boy. Has caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. Industri industri industry professionals say that your best friend that Israel is one of the rare games that will set a new quality standard for future games. Oh my god. This is crazy. Okay. It seems that Pac-Man Pac -Man Inc. really has made gaming history with your best friend that Israel. Well done. Oh boy. We made gaming history today. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen. Well, it was a good thing I choose that. Oh my gosh. Over 500k in sales. Oh my god. Okay then. Well, that's pretty good. We might even reach like 7... We're going to reach 700k. Holy crap. I made so much money from that. Can I make a sequel to the sequel? I can too. Okay, well, maybe I'll do that in a few... Like, once I get some better stuff. Um, Let's research... Or send... Gen generate a game report for this. Because we definitely want to do that. <laughs> Six million. I think we made almost five million dollars from this. Rank number two still. Holy crap. Oh, we got some decryption. Our agents has recently managed to borrow some research information. Uh, if you're interested, then transfer 38k to the enclosed link. We'll contact you. Contact you. Eh, this is kind of like a 50-50 thing. Sometimes you get information and sometimes you don't. I'm making so much money. Might as well. Just see what happens. I'm kind of... Thank you for your business you have successfully researched horror oh okay I just paid 38k to research her horror if I could say it okay game report for your best friend that is real gameplay seems to be very important and topic audience match uh, virtual pet and young is great well I think we already knew that but good to good to get a definite answer from that rank 3 still oh my gosh okay we generated 5.4 thousand no five million four hundred thousand in sales and almost eight hundred thousand units holy crap that is definitely our best game so far and we made a crap ton of money oh boy okay well i think i'm gonna end it there that was insane we made so much money from that game uh game history let's see yeah 5.4 million oh boy we got six thousand fans from it number one top sales rank 9.5 rev scale review oh my gosh that's crazy. This That's definitely our best game so far. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope you all uh, enjoyed. Next time we'll continue with our, like, an abundance of money. We have so much money now. I might hire a second person even. Um, just because we have so much money. I don't know. We might lose it all. I want to be careful with it because I don't want to lose it. Okay, two months Super Tesla will be taken off. Don't care. Um, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I'll see you in the next one. 
once we <laughs> and we have so much money, we can spend it on a bunch of good stuffs. All right, see you in the next one.